story joking. Um, so what we're going to do, as I said yesterday, we're going to lay the paving at a 45 on here. So we can't lay, we know that we've got the lean mix here. We can't go to the wall because we can't compact that yet. So we're not going to, we're not going to sort of uh, get the compactor plate over that because we've got to put a lean mix in to bring it up to the right level. But we can lay some paving through here. Agreed? Yeah. But what we're going to do this morning is we're going to find out the angle of this. So basically, if you look at that now, if we put that square to the paving there, just just for argument's sake. So basically, that's going to be our angle is going to run um, across here. It's going to be a 45 to that. So the thing that we've got to do, I'll just go through it quick because I think it's going to rain. I hope it doesn't. So we can lay on this bit. This is nice and solid. But what we want to try and achieve, we want to try and get the same look, the same drop as that appears on it. Because there's nothing worse when you're stood on the lawn and you're looking back over across here and you've got different, different heights. It's not good at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to check the measurement in here. So on here, so important to get down and actually check. So we've got 140 mil. So the first thing we're going to do now, we're going to put our first pin in over here. I'm in a bit of a rush because I don't know if we can get through that or not. No, so. You get the idea anyway. So now, with the aid of Ryan's French chalk, why do they call it French chalk? I guess and it's from France. Yeah. So we had 140 mil. So we're going to measure down now. 140 mil on there. And we're going to mark off that mark there now. Is that mark there is the height of the finished paving on this side. So that would give the same look and it'd be equidistance. 140 mil down and then when we look at that when we actually measure to our sub base and this will give you a good indication of how our sub base is we have 70 mil okay 70 mil to the chalk line so that's 20 mil for the porcelain and 50 mil no more than 50 mil you don't be laying any more than 50 mil as a bedding mortar because it starts to become expensive so that's not bad at all we've done really good on that so we're going to set up another pin over that side, okay? Then we're going to set a pin up over there and a pin up over there, just basically like a square, so we know we're running from right to left and from this side running out with the fall on that we're going to do. You'll see the lines up after, so let's get on with it. Go on. Do you know, I, I was just thinking, right, it's uh, so important that for years, I've always like got to the job. I just want to get on with it. I want to show customers that I want to make progress, like you know. Um, but sometimes that old saying, "Less ace, more speed," and uh, you just got to slow down and get your levels right because you know that was my biggest problem in the past. I, I would always just want to just crack on with something, thinking I was making progress, and in most most of the cases, I probably wasn't making progress because I was rushing, and just rushing is just not the the best thing to do so when undertaking a, pro a project rather like this you need to make sure hang on you just need to make sure that you just slow down take your time get it done right because it, it can be so costly for you and your client well got a perimeter for our lines uh, we are touching it on that side, so we're, we're going to have to just put a mark on there. We're going to have to check that now. Uh, right. It'd yeah. be good to come out, but that wouldn't be that. Right. So, one pin, two pin, three, four. And yeah, then... I'll just turn around and show them. Do we have a, a tape measure here? one thing we've got to keep checking all the time because we haven't got a pin on this bit is we've got to measure down here 140 there so 
that's where our line needs to be. There we go, let's do it. So, what I was talking about was the other day, I tried to lift one of these up the next day and it didn't separate. It's as simple as that. What it done, it pulled the mortar bed off the top of the block work. So, look, see, if I tap that now, this is what we want. There you go, look at that. Look at that bed now. Let's put that over here. So you must remember where that goes. So now that that's absolutely perfect to put the map on because I've left it approximately two to three mil lower. So we can clean that edge up on there, get our unit a little bit closer, get our map eye on, and then we can pull it away and adjust and maybe trim it up a little bit later. But look at that, perfect. So you can see the riser on here is actually bedded in nice. It's not gonna come off now, but because that's had some time, this is the reason that I map eye these on because if you look at that now, I'll we'll give that a tap now. Eventually, look, that's what happens. It comes off, but now, because I've, I've laid it lower, it allows us to put the map on, and what we could do, we can map out in this void here to make sure that no water gets in there, and it's absolutely solid, but that's perfect. That's just how I want it. I was a bit concerned the first day when I, the next day, the following day, I tried to get it off, but it wasn't ready to separate it. That's when you get, that's a typical example of delamination. Look at it. No slurry on the back, but now we use the map eye. I keep saying it, the map eye, the map eye. Do you see that again? The map eye. Map eye. The map eye. What? The map eye. You're gonna make it funny. Morning, Eve. Uh, morning, Tyler. Um, I'm with your handsome father and uh, your other half. Uh, he's been an absolute star. I mean. He's a gentleman, he's a nice guy, and um, but I wouldn't want to cross him. And I know that deep <laughs> down inside him, there's an animal. <laughs> but no, in a good way, in a good way. Neve, so don't worry, your dad's not an animal. But then we're all animals, aren't we? We are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, are you enjoying it? Like, oh, I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So where are we going for our five-star meal tonight? We went for one lap yesterday, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. We this is for Tyler now. Tyler, he's being looked after. We've got the Celtic Manor up there. They've got a restaurant called Steak on Six. Um, steak's on me, of course. Look, we can go into the restaurant, like, you know, yeah. get some shoes on and a bit of a shirt on. We look all smart, with me, yeah, like, you know. Don't get too jealous, Tyler. You know? No, no, Tyler, <laughs> don't get too jealous. He's yeah. with us now. Go on. Oh. <laughs> 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 So um, this is uh, the compactor plate. Compactor plate, not a whacker plate. A, a whacker plate is a brand. This is a compactor plate from MBW. And uh, people often say to me, am I getting paid to talk about this? Yeah, I am. Loads, loads of money. No, I'm not, I'm not getting paid at all. Um, no, so what we're gonna be doing this morning, just wanna run through now. So we've backfilled this, we broke the hardcore up. Um, there is a little bit here over here but we still need this compacting it's had a couple of days now for the wall to go off but remember you've got to remember though it's just a couple of days you've still got to make sure that we don't be running the compactor plate right next to that wall because you just got to try and test it and just feel your way like you know don't do it the next day you you'd see on often quite often on site years ago um the bricklayers would get the oversights up they get all the block work up and the site foreman would have us filling all the internals up uh, straight away and it's not a good thing because the walls is still green you know it really 
you've got to get out of it two or three days and you should be all right but just do it gradually so we're going to compact this this morning along there get that done and then um, Ryan here young Ryan is going to be mixing up some lean mix and then we're going to get a lean mix in because if you look at the depth on there on here we're getting down to about three inches and then it starts becoming expensive then so there's about three inches of uh, a bedding mortar on there so we've got to build this up to reduce the cost of the mortar bed it just becomes more expensive so i'm going to get on with this now and uh, have a good day Um, Ryan kindly got that in the back of his van uh, bag of all in so we've mixed it up good mix so now we've got to compact that but we're, we're a little bit short but another bag will do and we're not going so deep then with our mortar yep I kind of do it with a bit more enthusiasm look there we are there's the lean mix we've got it in place now we know that we've got a, a decent base underneath it all the way through we've got to do this part here okay we've got to fill that up and we've got to fill that up but that that can be done later but what that's going to allow us to do is to pave all the way across here today with a bit of luck and hopefully fill that in It amazes me how many times people want to see compactor plates going. Well, young Ryan's emptied the back of the van now a little bit just so we can give it a clean, make sure it's tidy. We've got the everything's generally on site here at the moment, but we got to just make sure everything's tidy and throw away any bits and pieces that we don't want. Don't hoard, that's the, the secret. Don't hoard. There you are, Grumpy and Grumpier, our clients. Brown and it because I haven't got a post in there, lad. <laughs> I knew a post was the answer. We've got the lines up now and uh, this is perfect absolutely perfect but what we've got to do yesterday we overcut so we've got to cut this shape out here today along this edge just as what we've done for there same same principles again um, and we'll show you a little bit more on this side uh, later on as well but our main aim this morning Ryan is to cut the shape of this out so what we're going to be doing I'll explain very briefly now is we're going to put slab for slab on here like like so uh, maybe one back okay put the slab through and then we're going to take a measurement and we're going to mark it with a pipe and do it in the same way as we did before so does that make sense yeah we'll get on with it now uh, well if this makes any any sense i was trying to explain this the other day was that all those along there have been laid uh four mil lower okay four mil lower they've been laid four mil lower so i said that three times then didn't i four mil lower i have now four so <laughs> there you are so what will happen because i haven't slurried those is that they they will delaminate okay and i'm not convinced with slurry on the edge of, of a step and i like to use the map i wrap in set okay and it really goes off well so like like paving these coping stones will delaminate and uh, the other day i tried to tap these off uh, and it wasn't ready to be tapped off and you can see it held on to the mortar but now you can see that so the mortar it pulled the mortar up okay you can see that there so it wasn't ready so i've done this one that was the same but this morning i've tapped that one and it's delaminated all right you can see perfect now we can put the map eye on there 
we can bear that on, that will not move. So, there you are, look, again. See, and this is what happens with paving. If you don't have a bridge bond or a slurry with any of the pavement we have now, because you get this rapid curing, right? There you are, look, again. So, that's ready to go. So, if I give that a there you are. If by magic and if on cue, got a total flat bed there, you see, totally flat, but it's delaminated. And that's how delamination uh, happens. We haven't slurried this and we haven't put nothing on there. But I want to use the map on here. Some people say, why didn't you just use the slurry in the first place? But I think the reason, that, I don't think, I know, the reason I don't use the slurry, it's okay for a slab, but with a slurry, and on a small unit like this, it, 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 it could potentially move. But with a map eye, because it's a rapid set, you put it on and it just, it just cures quickly. So you know where you are. There you are, come off perfectly. So at some point we'll be bedding all these on here, either today or tomorrow. So as you can see, we've got the slabs lined on there. So we're gonna have two cuts, okay? Okay, not two cuts, we're gonna cut. So what we we'll do, every alternate slab there, right? We're gonna mark and cut, mark and cut, mark and cut. We'll mark it all first, all the way through. But I just wanna show you what Ryan's done now. He's put the spaces on the top here, okay? If you look at their spaces all in between. So what we wanna try and do is correct, create the, the correct, uh, gap is what we've got, the space we use it, so. so use this again here now. Some people think that this is a bit excessive, but I don't think it is. It's just, again, it's about belt and braces. We just get it right, so we can use the spaces now just to pull in and get it right. There we go. Over that side. There we are. Nearly perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we want these slabs to fit into that shape, okay? But the thing that we also want to allow for is a 50 mil gap. I'm not gonna run them tight because there's gonna be a lot of water coming off there and it's gonna come down here and run across here. So we reduce the bank, the water uh, that's landing on that area by sending it back into the ground and then we're gonna have a small void. We're gonna put a, a very contemporary uh, black pebble, okay? Pebbles look better, okay? Because they're round and they, they, it's, it's another design principle of texture. So we're gonna be putting those in there. So I don't want all that water running along. So we've gotta replicate the shape. So what we've done now, we've laid, laid these, these paving units, this force lane paving, in the exact place where we hope they're gonna be, where they should be rather. So what we're doing now, we're using a rule. I don't want to be using a tape. The reason I don't want to use a tape, because you can be miles off with that, even with a smaller tape. So the idea, lucky enough, Ryan had his rule with him. So we've got to look at this point here, because it's going to start from over here on the bottom slab on the underside. So what we do, by using a rule, okay, it can take it straight in, and you get more of an accurate measurement. Let me just go back one more now. So we run it along here, parallel with the slab next to it, okay? And we have there, and that, the width of this rule actually represents more or less the width of the space that we're actually using. So when I look at that now, we have on here, one meter, 200, hold on a sec, let down and have a look. Oh, I've gone from the wrong side. Just bear with me. Got to make sure you actually get it right. There we are, using that side. There we are. Now we have on here. Make sure we're running parallel. There we go. We have 
810. So we take 50 off, which would be 760, correct? 810, 760. It's always good to share it with the guys that you're talking to because you can blame it on them later. <coughs> so we're doing 760, excuse me. Turn it round, come back on here now. 760, so there's our mark, all right? So if we were to double check that, so the distance from there to that one now, so if we measure that one there, on there, we would say that is 360, take 50 mil off, so that'd be 310. So that mark there should be roughly about 310. There we are, dead on, 310. So that's working out exactly right. So all these marks we put on now, we'll get the tube after, and we'll bend the tube, because the tube will bend that conduit like we've done when we cut that, that'll bend to a nice shape. Are you with me now? Right, so. This one now, here we go. So this one here is. Well, this is the blade that we were using. It's super thin. Uh, it's a dry cut blade for cutting for porcelain. They don't like you using it on bends too much, but it's a very easy bend with this. But if you look at that, I've cut loads of this and I've really pushed it right, haven't I? Yeah. You know, and we're not going to push this no more, are we? No, definitely no. not. So it's so important that uh, when using these blades, like anything, PPE is absolute paramount. So we're going to change this blade over now, aren't we? Right, before you tell us why you've got the marks on there, big shout out for who? Oh, Maven Tyler. Yeah, Hiya. The, the girls in your life? They are, yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how old's Neve? Neve will be nine next month. And she's a little star, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Takes no messing? No, no, she's not. She's a little Thai boxer. What 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 happens when people bump into into knee? In, <laughs> what what she say? Well, first thing I say is uh, sorry, name, and she goes, "That's okay, Daddy. Just don't do it again." There we are. <laughs> and is there something special about Tyler? Any little quirky little thing like me? Oh, there's lots of special things about Tyler, <laughs> but I'm not going to that. <laughs> what, listen, Tara, what, what have you done here now? Like with the, you've marked all these these pavements, these, these units, haven't you? We've got, yeah. we've got a faint line on there, which I can see, but yeah. you've marked them all. And yeah, just to try and keep it. I know they're, they're in numerical order anyway, but it's just in case if we cut, cut one or two, and uh, for whatever reason, it went out of order, at least, at least you know. Do you feel confident about the cutting, the, mar the marking? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'm glad somebody does. But here, listen, you don't, so if it's not right, it's your fault. <laughs> there we are, I got the blame again. Of course. <laughs> Three, one. Well, there you are finished for the day that's it uh, we're not completed yet but we've nearly completed the second level in respect of getting the slabs down themselves and as you can see we try to bring you as much as we could in respect of showing you how we were doing it but this is the result of our the fruits of our labor i should say and uh, you can see it's, and it's just an absolutely fantastic shape it almost mirrors the treads on that, that side coming around it's coming down around nice and parallel and it's just a beautiful shape and it just you can really get the feel for it now it's uh it's just nice and soft and once we've got the treads on this side it's going to look the bee's knees we're not far now now it's at this point where i say we're on the home run Well, good morning. I'm in the garden room, just checking what Alison's carrots are doing. They're just absolutely flying up at the moment. So I don't know how straight they're gonna be, these carrots. Um, and the beans are coming on, they just need tying up. 
I need a reminder of that. And the lettuce is looking good. We haven't put so much in this year, um, simply because we probably need a little bit more space. So maybe I should reconfigure. There's a quite a big space over here. We just put this eye drain in here at the moment. Uh, but there is a space there where we could actually put another bed. That'd be a good idea. So we'll probably go get on with that the weekend. But there's a few other things to do as well. Alison bought these uh, hanging baskets a little while ago from the uh, Dutch Garden Centre. Um, they're really good. And uh, one thing you've got to check, especially this time of year, um, make sure that they're being watered. But the way they've put these together, they're going to hold a little bit of moisture in comparison to some hanging baskets. Got the wisteria there, going underneath that soft there. Pain, just got to keep on top of it. So, um, this little video vlog will help to remind me not to allow that growth to go into my attic. All right, what have you got on there? Eye drops. <laughs> No, what's that top you Oh got? yeah, your landscape and survival top. Yeah, yeah, it looks the part. You look good in it. You look All fresh. Right. The handsome man. Uh, Cheers, don't... thank you. Tyler's a lucky girl. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Friday and we're here. We're going to give you the Friday update, let you know how we got on yesterday and uh, going forward and what's happening. And uh... But in the meantime, have a look at Matt Sloan in Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky. Matt, how you doing out there, mate? Hey Johnny boy, Matt with Groundworks Landscape Management here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's been a good week. We've gotten a lot done. We've been working on planting some trees. We've been doing a landscape install, doing some landscape maintenance and general cleanup. But boy, it's been hot. It's 11 o'clock in the morning right now. It's almost 88 degrees and the humidity is high. Last week it was 106 and we all thought we were going to get heat stroke. A um, couple of my friend, other landscaper friends had to go to the hospital. So you just got to stay safe, you know, wear your sunscreen, wear your long sleeves, drink lots of water, and just grind on. Hey John, that was, um, that was interesting what the client was talking about. Yeah, big, big business, you know, uh, these guys have been in business, they know what business is about. And I think that's the biggest problem about this industry, with all industry, not just this industry, is that people have a passion and a love for doing something and it's great you know you can be good at, as a bricklayer or a carpenter or a plumber or electrician if you look at the trade say for instance for example but where they lose it is they're not business minded and uh, they struggle you know so if you're going into this business you've got to make sure that you know how to keep your receipts how to run 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 your books keep checking on things you know keep checking the, your figures each week you've got to know how do we know if we're making money or if we're not making money you know, not me or businesses in general. How do you know why being in business? You'll soon find out if you're not making money because you're being a last diet. That's it. One. Look, Ryan, senior Ryan, we should say, he got me some French chalk. I haven't seen French chalk for ages. And the reason I haven't seen French chalk for ages is because they don't really sell it. I haven't seen it in any merchants or anything. Uh, but you got online, didn't you, Ryan? French chalk. eBay. On eBay, yeah, and then look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. He's got this little, like a little holder to put your French chalk in. Look at that. I'm never ever going to lose my French chalk again. And I'm going to make sure that. How long do you reckon that one piece would last me? Well, if we kept it, <laughs> Ser no, seriously, how long? Um, or even our know. viewers, how, how long should that piece last? I know we do a lot of cutting, but how, how long should that last? I know we're going to shave it off now to make sure. We got a nice clean. But how long do you reckon? That cute in there. That's really good. He's even initialed it on the. Oh yeah. Hey. You haven't initialed it. No, I haven't. Did it might take it back. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little short clip with uh, Matt Sloan there, uh, the uh, gardening guru out in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, let's see what we can bring you again next week. But we've got to get on with Mark in this out. Good morning, Russ. Get it down. Morning, Johnny boy. You've got some new socks. New socks. For our, not new for, socks, but yes, different socks. Yeah, for our viewers. That's it, yeah. Can we have a look at them? Yeah, carry on. Yeah. Um, let me have a little look what it says. I'm just a shy guy with a big... Oh, you've got a big decking system? Yes, right, yes. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you for that. You, we really appreciate it. Um, we're probably going to do this two in one now. Uh, we've reviewed your socks. Um, Ryan, Ryan's review. Ryan's review? Yeah, Ryan's review. Well... Day 15. Uh, have you earned the T-shirt? That's what we need to know. Or have did I he have to buy it? Did he have to buy it? Did you make him buy that T-shirt? No. No, but well, that's no. good then. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be off today, so yeah. I think um, we get stuck in. Don't no. worry about that, I get stuck in. <laughs> yeah, but in the work with me. In the uh, <laughs> yeah, I want nothing else, John. <laughs> Jesus. it for the day and as you can see we finally got coping stone on completed for the tread and we've actually cut for our next one along here all the way around sweeping into where the pillar is going to be over there and then it comes all the way back around here and going over to the corner so all in all is good if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a like hit the notification button and don't forget to subscribe Got to get them now. Get them off. See you soon.